15. If C is between X and Y, again, we'll stop right there. C is between X and Y, that means you have a point X right here, goes to its buddy over here, Y. There's your line segment, X, Y. C is between them. Well, we're just going to put C right there. It's in, in between them somewhere. We don't know where, but it's between them. It's on that line segment, X, Y. So C is between X and Y with CX. C to X, that distance is represented by 4N minus 4. And CY, that distance is represented by N plus 10. It says, what then is X to Y's distance? <clears throat> well, if this were 2 and that were 4, you'd say, oh, 2 plus 4 is 6. If this were 1 and that were 5, you'd say, oh, 1 plus 5 is 6. If we had 3 here and 10 there, you'd say, oh, 3 plus 10, the whole distance is 13. We know that XC's distance plus CY's distance adds up to the whole thing's distance of XY. So when it says, what is XY? XY is simply going to be 4N minus 4 plus N plus 10. That's the expression that tells me the total distance. Now I need to clean it up a little bit. 4N plus an N, 5N. Negative 4, gain 10. Lose $4, gain 10. One day I lost 4, the next day I gain 10. Overall, gain $6. <clears throat> so basically, XY, the expression for XY that represents its distance is 5N plus 6. It's an expression. There's no perfect answer of, oh, it's 12 inches or 18 inches or whatever. This is as good as we can get it. The expression 5N plus 6 is what XY will come out to be.